favorite teacher and why? Um, I gotta go with Miss Klein, just because, you know, she's fun, she's got the humor, and she lets me turn in my assignments late, so shout out Miss Klein. Uh, shout out to Miss Bernie, best art teacher. Uh, my name is Savion Henderson, you feel me? Shout out to Miss Klein, she's my best teacher. And Coach Barnes, he always be looking out for me, even though he's a little hard on me, but shout out to Coach Barnes. Favorite teacher and why? It's definitely gotta be Senora McGee because she is just makes Spanish so fun to learn and she's really hip. Uh, I would like to shout out Mr. Speed. He's always there for me and we just have a good teacher-student bond. He's a great teacher. Miss Bowling. Reason? Uh, I like her a lot. She's cool. Reagan, Macy, Morgan. And who's your teacher shout out? Mr. 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 Lines. Favorite teacher and why? Um, my favorite teacher is Mr. Townsend because like He's funny and he's chill, but at the same time, he like makes sure he makes sure that like I get my work done and I be serious in his class. Uh, we got Miss Klein, Mr. Speed, Gambino, Chef, uh, Miss C, um, Coach Mac, um, uh, Mr. Gardner, and um, yeah, that's it. I should have a shout out from Miss Help. Um, she's a really good teacher. Uh, I like her teaching, and she's somebody that I can go to in the mornings and after school when I'm waiting to be picked up or get dropped off early and just talk to. She's just a good person. Mr. Patel. Hi. Because he's awesome, and I love him, and he's really nice. Cool. Uh, my shout-out is to Mr. Gooch and Ms. Bowling. Give it, give it, give it. Uh, my shout-out is to Coach Top. My shout-out is Coach Top and Mr. Barnes. What's your name? Linus. And who's your shout out? Mr. Speed. Favorite teacher and why? My favorite teacher is Miss Branch because she's a really good teacher and she's really supportive of the students. And mine is Miss Johnson because she's very mother-like. I don't know. She's just very nice and very comforting. Shout out. I shout out Mr. P. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Adam Copey and I shout out Ian Christian Lines. He's the GOAT, help me in micro. He's just a loving guy, cares for everyone. He's the GOAT of all time. Uh, my name's Jack Dolphmeyer, and I'm shouting out an elite point extra. Uh, he's a chill teacher, he makes class fun. Thank you. Shout out Mr. Ham, thank you for being there in town. The people need you. Cool, thanks. Your teacher and why? Um, Ms. K, because she let me come in her class whenever she want. Uh, she give out real easy work. And uh, she always nice. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Andrew Smith, and today is Friday, May 10th. And welcome to the A Town Today Teacher Appreciation Celebration, sponsored by the AHS SCA. Today, we'll be celebrating some of our favorite teachers by handing out the first annual Teacher Superlative Awards, as voted on by you, the students of Alamo. But first, I personally want to say thank you to uh, Mr. Townsend and Mr. Segler for always having a good sense of humor. And now it's my honor to present the first award for the teacher most likely to attend a Patriot Sporting event. And the winners are Mr. Townsend and Ms. Herbert. I am honored to be receiving, most likely to attend an AHS sporting event. Uh, I would like to thank my parents for making me go to my brother's soccer games and starting this trend. And I would love to thank all of the students who invite me to their events and concerts and performances. I appreciate you. Uh, yes, I'd like to thank you for nominating me, whomever that was. Uh, I think it came from the students for most likely to attend an AHS sports game. Um, yeah, so. Thank you and uh, appreciate it. The next award goes to the teachers most likely to give students food. And the winners are Mr. Huff and Senor Glass. Great, thank you very much. I wanna thank the student council for this uh, awesome award and the superlative. I know I am pretty well known, not only for lollipops, but food Fridays uh, and the usual supply of cookies. So uh, glad to be recognized for that. And uh, stop by, there's always food. Thank you. All right, I'd like to thank uh, the student body for nominating me as the teacher most uh, likely to give students 
food. I'm glad to be part of the snack supply chain. I'd like to thank first my bank account and the county's taxes that pay me to give you food. Um, I'd also secondly, like, I'd like to say, thank Costco, Costco for bulk items, it's cheaper that way. Uh, and I'd also like to thank uh, my students for being hungry little gremlins. I love you all. I couldn't do this without you. I couldn't lose my own goldfish without you guys. Much love. After a stressful year of teaching, teachers need summer to get away from it all. Some teachers really know how to get away. I'll be presenting the award for the teacher most likely to travel the world. The winners are Senora McGee and Miss Hartzell. Most likely to travel. I feel like I've worked hard to earn this. I've worked hard my whole life to really finally get this trophy and recognized by my peers and my colleagues and the students that I am a world traveler. I would like to thank my parents for making me a leash kid and it inspired me to break free and see the world. <laughs> As we all know, sarcasm can be a weapon, but it can also be really, really funny when aimed at the right person. The award for most sarcastic teacher goes to Mr. Lindsay and Mr. Gambino. Take two, Lindsay acceptance speech and action. <laughs> oh, okay. That's going on bloopers. No, no, okay. Like no. we'll, we'll put it in. Guys, bloopers. Okay. continue. All right, take. Um, Lindsay acceptance speech, take three, action. Hello, America. I must first say that I don't really like people that use really big words to sound perspicacious but I do want to thank the most important person who's responsible for this. And so I saw him this morning, I wanted to look him in the eye and give him a great big hug. I ran as fast as I could and I slammed in the mirror and broke it right in half. So with that, thank you. I'm honored and entirely shocked that I got this. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carmine. And I just want to say thanks to all the teachers in the school for you know helping us out. But I want to do point one teacher out, Mr. Elgort, new teacher, but he's been, uh, what we like to call a good teacher. Believe it or not, teachers have a dress code like students, unlike students. However, they generally follow it. A few teachers go above and beyond. The award for the most stylish teacher goes to Chef Point Dexter and Mr. Speed. Uh, thank you guys for nominating and uh, letting me wear this coin. I accept it all right, I want to give a special thanks to all my wonderful students and staff members that voted me as the most style teacher. I appreciate it, and I'll do it for all my students, not for anyone else. Given the highest ratio of beard to bald men here at AHS, this next award is, has a smaller pool to choose from. The award for best here goes with Miss Heaps and Miss Branch. I'd like to thank all the student body for voting me best hair for the laziest style possible. Thank you. Right. It's my first award. I would just first and foremost like to thank God for good genes. Um, I would like to thank my family also for good genes. Thank the student body. Thank you for recognizing me. And um, have a wonderful day. Spending all day in class and learning lots of facts and formula is good to get a break from. Storytelling is an art form and some teachers have mastered it. The award for, for best storyteller goes to Ms. Pline and Coach Topper. Okay. Um, thank you so much. I'm so honored to receive this award. I'd like to thank um, my mom, who was the first person to tell me stories. Thank you. All right, man. Thank you so much for this award. I got a really good story about getting the best stories award, but I'm not going to tell you because I talk too much. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. I hope that my students uh, remember some of the stories you tell. Thanks, guys. We love sports at A-Town today, and we have a lot of teachers who spend a lot of time making it possible for us to play the sports we love at the highest levels possible. The award for honor, this award honors those teachers the most likely to go into professional sports, and those coaches and those winners are Coach Cheryl and Miss St. Hill and Mr. St. Hill. Wow, what an honor it is to accept this award, to be going uh, into professional sports. Just want to take uh, take the opportunity to thank all the people that nominated me for this, that believe that I can make it to the next level, because that's what it takes, is just the belief that you can do it. And so thank you to all of those, the people that surround me, this amazing class behind me, and all that they do. Appreciate it. All right. 
I just want to say thank you to the ANGS community for allowing me to receive this award. Um, it means a lot to me uh, to be inducted into the pro sports. Um, thank you, ANGS. <laughs> Good morning, Patriots. I'm Thomas, and I'd like to shout out Mr. Maciel for helping me understand math more. Teachers spend all day talking, so it's important to acknowledge the best talkers in the building. This year, the award for best talker goes to Mr. Lyons and Mr. Broden. Thank you for this award. Some people say I talk too much, but it's all worth it now. Very sorry. It's amazing to me how teachers keep track of all things they have to do and remember from day to day. There should be an award for being organized, and there is. The award for most organized teacher goes to Mr. Ke Kegler and Mr. Brid. I appreciate the award. I feel like I've tricked everybody, though. I don't feel that organized. But, um, yeah, so this is like a best acting award. So, thank you. Hi, all. Mrs. Bird accepting my award for most organized. Um, I had a speech, but I lost it, so I'll just go ahead and say thank you for this honor. I'm not sure I really understand this next category, considering that Eitan today is high about sea levels and hundreds of miles from an ocean. But teacher most likely to fight a shark goes to Mr. Ooh, woof. Ms. Kaufman and Mr. Engel. All right, I wanna thank my family, I wanna thank all my students, uh, Principal Bonham for this wonderful award, most likely to fight a shark, okay. <laughs> By May, school can be a grind, not just for students, but for teachers too. Yet some teachers manage to stay positive and seem even more enthusiastic the harder they work. The award for most enthusiastic teachers goes to Ms. Stoker and Ms. Miller. I am so grateful to receive most enthusiastic because I'm so enthusiastic about Spanish. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad my students see it. Uh, I love, I love sharing Spanish culture, like different countries and the language with everyone. Um, and sometimes I'm a little crazy, and I, I I'm glad my students see it. I love it. So, <laughs> awesome. Juan. Pues muchas gracias. En estos momentos me gustaría agradecer a mis queridos estudiantes. So much responsibility comes with being a teacher. Balancing what's best for each individual student with what's right for the whole community is a big job. It's kind of like being president. So the award from teacher most likely to become president goes to Mr. Krieger and Mr. Giddick. Uh, thank you so much. I am honored. Um, I promise I will remember all of you when I am the most powerful woman in the world. My fellow citizens, I thank you so much for this humble award and the faith you trust in me. I will do my best to uphold the ideals of this republic and pass on to each of you the values of citizenship through my leadership. For the last award, I meant Ms. Krieger. Most teachers I know become teachers for the money and the fame, just like Hollywood movie stars. They desperately seek approval of adoring crowds and they cash in on those big blockbuster hits. This year, the award for teacher most likely to become a movie star goes to Miss Powers and Mr. Lorenzoni. Oh, thank you so much, students of Elmore, for nominating me as the most likely teacher to be a movie star. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, this has been life-changing for me. I appreciate you every single day. I get to keep this? Yeah. Oh my, are you filming? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It like, has my name on it and everything. Um, so most likely to be a movie star. Obviously that's not correct. Like you see, I'm like freezing up in front of the camera. Um, so I'm really confused with this, but I think part of this is due, I, I have something to show you guys, okay? So part of this, this is like a running joke with my classes. Um, is that like they think I look like people, okay? See, so I'm gonna show this to you guys, okay? This is on my phone. Can you, can you zoom in? Can you zoom in? Okay, so this is the first one. 
It's the dude from Ratatouille. So you, okay, yeah. maybe. Um, we have the cinnamon. This is, I've been told, I, I remind people of the cinnamon man from the commercials. If you don't know him, look up the Apple Jacks commercials. We have fear, okay? Fear, um, I think maybe that's just my personality or maybe I look like this guy. Um, <laughs> yeah, what's his name again? Pete Davidson. Yeah, Pete Davidson. Don't see that one. <laughs> not at all. Um, we got this one. I get this one a lot. The stalker from the Netflix show, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, which is not a, the best thing in the world, you know? <laughs> um, we have Jerry Seinfeld, the B from the B movie. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, we got uh, this guy, this guy from Star Wars or something. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> who's this guy? <laughs> who's this? I don't know. Guys, who's this? Do we know who this is? Yeah. Anyways, um, they're not paying attention, but um, we have that guy. Um, <laughs> this is the most recent one. Um, one of my good friends, Mr. Alba Canton, who would be a much better movie star. Um, his son, who's two, says I remind him of this dude. So anyways, um, I think I'm far from a movie star, but um, maybe it's fitting because I remind you guys of Fear, who is a movie star. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Like Batman and Robin, like SpongeBob and Patrick, like Mario and Luigi, some teachers are just better with a partner. The award for best teaching duo goes to Miss Morse with Mr. LaPrade and Mr. Hale with Mr. Scott. You got it, you got oh, it. Oh, okay, okay. Hi, we want to thank everybody for our wonderful award, Best tr uh, Teacher Duo for Mr. LaPrade and J-Mo. We want to thank everybody who voted for us. You know, I'm, I'm just so thankful to get this award. It's, this is really not mine. This is all the students that really made us get this award. This is their award. Absolutely. Hi, Albemarle High School. Thank you so much for voting Mr. Hale and I as the best teacher duo at Albemarle High School. We appreciate the recognition from the students. We have worked very hard over the past 16 years to develop a fun, humorous environment of where, learning. Where students can succeed in our classroom. Go Patriots. Every year, Albemarle gets a few brand new teachers just starting off on their careers. They have spent years studying and practicing to become a teacher, and now they're here and then they get asked by another teacher to see their bathroom pass. The award for teachers most likely to be mistaken for a student goes to Mrs. Klein and Mr. Edney. I am honored to be receiving this award, and I guess all I have to say is I'm glad I still have my youth about And finally, the one we've all been waiting for. This is the award to end all awards and the one that truly marks the greatness of a teacher, the pinnacle of profession, the skill that separates the merely great from the legendary. The award for best dad jokes goes to Mr. Clay and Mr. Frankfurt. I'm so touched by this award. I have to thank um, the Romans, the Greeks, and particularly Marshall. Marshall may be the greatest poet of all time, and he gave me all my inspiration for all my dad jokes. And I'd also like to thank my students. I, w I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be funny without students. I'd just be by myself. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. I'd like to thank, first of all, my family, um, my students for putting up with me, um, for corn, for allowing me to be corny, um, and all the dads out there that drive minivans that also have very punny, witty, terrible jokes. Um, this one's for you guys. Thank you to all of our teachers who work so hard to make A-Town what it is. We love you and appreciate you, even if we don't always act like it. Please don't leave for lucrative private sector gigs or to teach at private school. We promise to do better next year. Until then, enjoy what's left of our appreciation. That's all we have for now. We'll see you on Monday on A-Town Today.